From the hollers in the hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned! Hey guys, so what are we going to do today? One, we're going to feed these animals and water them. Two, we're going to rip down some fence posts. Three, we're going to put up some fencing and reset the fence posts. Four, we're going to plant some more stuff in the garden. And five, we're going to go to bed at probably 10 o'clock tonight. Because we've been working until the sun goes down. All right, so yesterday's footage of these little fellers got all messed up here. But here they are. Little chick, 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 chick. Come on, chicky, chicky, chickies. Come on. You guys are looking good. You like it in there, huh? Look at the cats. They're just like, what are these things? What, what's going on here? Hey, hey, fellas, what's up? They've been around birds their entire life, the cat has. The cats have. They've uh, they've grown up around them. Where you going, guys? And that's actually a chicken nest that they're laying in. So They should be good for somebody's uh, farm or homestead or whatever. Not be messing with birds. Anyhow, let's get this feed. Let's get out of here and feed these animals. All right, early morning. We got a rooster out running. Why is he running, you say? Well, he jumped, he tried to fly over the fence and couldn't make it. And he started getting shocked and Jaden come and got me and said, Dad, the chicken. Oh, you fly over that time, huh? That's what I he thought. Tried to fall, he tried to float. Jack fall rabbit. Over here, trying to get back in. Yeah, yeah. Then he All right, let's go. All right, well, we got him in. Oh, Chili Mac, Chili Mac. I see you, Chili Mac, Chili Mac. What you doing, Chili Willy? Huh? Y'all see how we scratch his back with the rake? He loves it. All right, we got some work to do, son. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so Jaden comes in here and tells me, says, Dad, the rooster's loosed and tangled in the net. He said, thank goodness it wasn't turned on. Do we have a problem today, son? Do we have a problem? I can solve your problem again if you got one still. We'll take care of you in a minute. I can do that too, Chico. Anyhow, um, the fence was hooked up and on, and that dingleberry went over and grabbed a hold of it. He said, I felt a little pulsing. He's lucky it's just all he felt. All right, bring him on down, bull. Bring him on down. Come on, man. What are you doing? Uh, maybe some of it. Why you just got that? There's a bunch of stuff in there. Bring it down here and I'll distribute. You're going to have to get in gear, son. We ain't got all day. I got fence posts to take up and stuff. You're going to do this work. You're going to have to hurry up. I ain't got all day. Ain't got all day, son. Ain't got all day. You see that slothfulness? It's slothfulness. You, you, you slothy. Lazy. Slothy. I can feed this. You go get the rest. I'm telling you right now, we got to get the children's nowadays, the children's nowadays. They're so slothful. If I'd have ever been so slow to get something my mommy or my daddy asked for, Lord have mercy. Just drag my feet, take my good sweet time. If I get there, I get there. That's how they act. Drives me, look at him, just walking. Drives me nuts. Y'all got kids like that and just want to drag their feet, then turn around and want something. No, I want this, I want that. Well, how much work did you do? Oh, I don't know. Why y'all gonna run with that big old piece of bread? Y'all know good and well you can't go nowhere with it. Anyways, uh, the kids nowadays, 
They just they just drag their feet for nothing. They just want to be so slow, so slow. I, I, you know, I, I, it's almost like it's bred into them to be like it. You know, I don't think kids that were, you know, back in my grandpa or my daddy's age or my great grandpa's ages, I don't think that they were like that. I don't think they drug their feet and took their time. I tell you what I think the biggest problem is and why they do that. I think it has got a lot to do with, uh, with the things that they're used to doing, uh, online and, and, and the computers and all that stuff. You know, here's the thing. So, you know, we didn't, but there's a lot of people that do. They start their kids out on, on these, uh, on these games and these iPads and phones and everything at a year old, two years old, and they know how to work these phones and they know how to work the iPads and everything. Well, they have to wait on those phones and those games and those iPads and everything. Everything you do that's connected to the internet, you know, even though it's high speed internet, you still have a waiting time. You still have this processing time. You know, you, like you go to download a game for Nintendo Switch or, or Xbox or something like that. You got so much time, you got to wait. You know, so they'll just sit there waiting for the thing to get done, you know, and, and now I could be totally off, but there's no now, there's no, let's get it done now. There's no hop up and, and, and do it and get it over with, you know, uh, with these kids nowadays. And I really think that it's because we allow them on these video games and on our phones and tablets and everything. You know, they're waiting for this, and they're waiting. Look at that chicken. I'm trying to run. He's too fat to run. Look at that one trying to run. Anyways, um, they're they're constantly having to wait, and they're, you know, wait for the loading, wait for the download, this, that, and the other, you know. Uh, they're waiting for the next game. They're waiting for the next update. You know, it's, it's a constant waiting thing. So then they, they make us, and we tell them to do something. Well, it's not a right now thing. Well, it'll get done. I mean, that's how they look at it. And, and I relate that to the internet because if you, if you know me, I'm in a hurry. Oh, I want this thing downloaded. I'm hurry. You know, it needs to hurry up. Come on. I ain't got all day to wait for it. You know, and, and you hear a lot of people just wait. It, it's going to get done, you know, and it's like, well, look at them chickens. <laughs> one rooster getting beat up by the other one. Big white one. See that, that other rooster's done turned mean too. I might have to fix these roosters. So, anyhow, see that one, how he comes running down here? That's Clyde, a.k.a. Dave. And you got Tom up there. He's trying to ride the back of a hen right now. And then you got the white one right here. White lightning. <laughs> white lightning. Joker can't run for nothing. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. So, you know, I'm in a hurry. Want the stuff downloaded. Want it right now. And, and when you start saying that around, you know, the younger generation and stuff, well, just wait. It it It's working. You know, just wait. It'll be here. It's working. It, it'll be finished in a minute, you know. And that's the same way they work. That's their worth ethic. Worth ethnic. That's, that's, how, that, that's how they work, too. You know, they just, they're so lazy and, and just, oh, well, it'll get done, you know. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, what's the hurry? What's the rush? You know, because well, I want to get it done. There's only so many hours in the day. And you can't, you can't live this kind of a life and, and work those kind of ways you know i mean you can't sit around and just dilly dally and, and whatever so uh, it, it gets very frustrating uh at least to me it is i don't know about uh, about y'all and y'all's kids and and stuff but i really think that the more we get them out there out here the more we push them to come out i mean we had video games when i was a kid you know what i mean um out of out of out of uh all my siblings i'm the only one that lives like this okay i'm the only one and uh, some of that could be for for multiple reasons, but uh, you know, I'm the only one that does this kind of stuff. I'm the only one that that plants his own stuff and grows his own stuff and has chickens and all the all that, you know. So and and you know, now some of it, you know, just could be you know because of where they live. You know what I mean? But a lot of it probably has to do with, you know, the, 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 the generations getting away from it, you know. And so their kids, their kids ain't going to know nothing about this kind of life, you know. And uh, they're not going to be appreciative of it. You see, 
I can remember Dad. He built uh, he built this uh, where we used to live at. There was a creek, and and the creek. We when we first moved there, we built a dam, and we went across. We get across the creek via the dam, and then you know we would. It got to the, and we put a basketball hoop and stuff over there so we could play basketball. We cleared off really nice across the creek. You know, it was flat and everything. And, but in order to get across that, it got so, it eventually got so deep and so bad that we couldn't cross at the dam, cross via a dam anymore. We had to, we had to cross it uh, a different way. And the only way that my daddy could think of to cross was a bridge. Yeah, so dad built a swinging bridge. Now, here's the thing. Dad had the vision. Dad bought everything to do it with. The concrete and, and you know, there was some telephone poles, if I'm remembering right. The telephone poles were already there and uh, and stuff. Not not set. They weren't set, you know, but they were, they were there. They were uh, on the land. So we used what was there. And then we found a big old spool of uh, of, of uh, aluminum, uh, like one and a quarter or one inch or one and a quarter inch, something like that, um, uh, aluminum cable. Big spool of it. Huge spool. And uh, so everything ended up being there, but, it, you know, Dad had to spend a lot of money on the boards for the bridge and the concrete. Okay? And uh, so we, he, he, help he built the bridge but we had we had the help okay so dad and he was building it for us so we could get across the uh creek with our bikes and we'd get across the creek to play um you know basketball and such and um that was but you know we had to help to do that you know because it, he was doing it for us he spent the money he spent his time to build it okay and the only thing that was asked of us was to help achieve the goal okay and and so on the one side on our side where we lived it was lower than the other side so we had to build it up and i think there was seven or eight steps in total okay that we had to go up it ended up being probably five or six foot tall okay the steps they were really big steps and he made it really wide it was, it was probably about four foot wide and um any four or five foot wide so anyways um looking good but you're dumping all that right there where i gotta put his pool at you gotta think son you gotta think so anyways we um we'll get the right and we'll move it but you gotta you gotta use gotta use that noggin baby you gotta use it <clears throat> Go get the rest of them, but don't dump them there. Anyways, um, I know this is going to be long, but whatever. Uh, so we had to help achieve that goal. And that goal was to get that that bridge up to the height. Well, we couldn't concrete the entire thing. So uh, what Dad was going to do is he built a form, and we filled it with rocks out of the creek. Okay? And Dad would be out there helping getting the rocks. But that was, that was what we did every Saturday morning for a while is we would go out there and instead of damming the creek up you know because we dammed it up and swam in it i mean that was i mean that was a, another thing that we done i mean we we lived on the creek uh and stuff that's not different stories different time anyways we would go and, and, and every saturday morning we'd go out there and we'd start stacking those rocks in there and then dad would start mixing concrete and pouring it and uh and filling that form up until he got it all all concrete in and then the bridge was awesome. We could take our bikes up the steps and go across the bridge and ride our bikes over on the back track. We'd go over and play basketball. We went over and built tree houses. We went over and swung off the grapevines. We didn't have to worry about getting wet anymore. We didn't have to worry about if it was winter time, you know, and having to try to get across the creek in the winter. Um, it was not, not a big deal anymore. But we had to put the effort in to get that done, okay? He, he put so much effort in to have himself and the only thing that was asked of us is that we helped, okay? Well, then it flooded one year and, uh, and, and got up on the bridge. And uh, we, had to, uh, 
we had to figure that out, okay, because it had gotten up and drug it down, okay, and drug it down bad. So dad's solution was to jack up the middle of the of the bridge and uh and once he jacked the middle of the bridge up we had to fill up we had to fill it up with uh with rock okay so what he done is he jacked up both sides of the bridge uh, in the center he went in the center okay here's the center of the bridge he put a jack on this side of the bridge and this side of the bridge okay lifted the center of it up then we if the water was to ever get high again we knew that it would push those jacks away so he went around the jacks in a circle with a uh, t-post and chain link fence okay and then we took rocks and filled in around the jacks <clears throat> inside of that uh inside of that chain link fence circle we had to do that in order to keep our bridge up you know and that bridge was there for a very 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 long time people ended up tearing the bridge down but the steps and everything still remain you know if somebody wanted to go there and put a bridge up today the only thing they would have to do is buy the cable and buy the boards to build it across and that's it okay and there and there they'd have them another they'd have them another bridge so that's your little bit there and that's why we need to get the children helping again we need to get them out here and functioning again and doing what they're supposed to do and stop being so slothful and lazy and just not giving a crap about nothing but themselves look at these apples they're pretty 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 all right so anyhow on with the rest of the day all right guys so let's look at these plants today some of them was looking ah oh, man overnight they came up praise the lord i'm gonna look at that in a minute all right so that plant looks a-okay today that one's looking a-okay today that one looks okay today that one there kind of i was kind of worried about it that's my two uh, 2261 schmidt 951 new looks all right and this here is looking devastated today lord have mercy don't die on me should i dig it up put it back in the thing or let it be Kentucky, y'all. They wasn't nothing up last night. But there they are today. Kentucky Wonders is up and growing. Got another one coming up there. Need another one there coming up. Go ahead and splash the water to them. Let's see how these down here are doing. These are the grits. These greasy grits. What's down in here? Let's see what we got. Anything? I know there's one buried right here. Let me see. It may not do nothing. I see something, possibly. It rolling back down in there. There it is, right there. Right there it is. Uh, looks like it's trying. Maybe next couple days it will be. Water them again here soon. All right, let's lay some black plastic down. All right, guys, sorry again for the late video, but uh, we've started putting plants in, and as you can see, it's pretty dark out, but uh, this is what we've got going on. You can see the peppers there already growing. So we've, uh, we've done pretty good this evening. Uh, I don't know how many that is. Let's see, it's two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
Put in 52 plants. Uh, 16 of those 52 are our uh, our huckleberry uh, plants. Um, I brought these out to, to do them, but it don't look like we're going to get a chance to tonight. So maybe in the morning time I'll get them. Also planted four rows of corn. One, two, three, four. Four rows. You can see they're, they're uh, a little wider than the building there. So... But that's what we got going on. Uh, we did get the other side on the fence. I'll have to show you that in the morning. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've, we've worked our tails off. So we uh, this is what we've got done. I'll get a better view of it all in the morning time for y'all and, uh, and stuff. But uh, we're going to sign off for now. Go inside, get a shower, go to bed. Look here. We appreciate you watching. All right, we do. We appreciate you, every one of you who's watching this show. Uh, won't be long, and we'll be doing some really cool stuff. We just got to get some things situated, all right? And uh, so we're going to go on ahead and get off of here for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.